PSG Champions League soccer game with the Instant Bowl Club was suspended on Tuesday and will be com- completed a day later, which is today, in about an hour and a half from now, after both sets of players walked off in protest amid allegations of racism by one of the match officials in an unprecedented incident in European soccer elites club's competition. And it just, it, uh, the coach is uh, Perry Weibel. When being described, couldn't describe him by a number. He couldn't describe him as um, tall, weighed 170 pounds. Have you ever had an interaction with a, a 911 operator when reporting a crime? You know, you see, you see domestic violence or something like that. What do they ask you? Is it male or female? Uh, it's a male. Is uh is he, uh, what color is he? He's white. Okay, uh, wh- wh- how old do you think he is? And they ask for descriptive details so they can get to the root of the problem so the officers can do their job. Well, wh- what are the officials? They're the, they're the ones enforcing the laws of the game. Like, officers, they're enforcing the law of society, if they're allowed to. Um, depends what state you live in, you know. Defund the police. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we have uh, confusion. So I watched this last night and I watched it, I don't know, way too much. And I'm trying to listen to every detail of what's going on. It's very confusing. These poor, se- the poor center referees just a deer in headlights. He's like, I wasn't trained for this. Don't know what to do. So the question is, where do we go from here? It, it, where does it end? What are the rules? It, the, the thing is, the rules are always going to change, as they always do, and history is going to repeat itself. And uh, we're just going to keep fanning the flames because that's what the media does. They just fan the flames. And uh, no one has a voice of even investigating what other possibilities could there be. It, you, you can't do that. Because you'll get fired or you'll get shouted down. And I'm sure I'm going to have my haters and how dare you. You know, you're, you, you have white privilege and all that stuff. No, I have a brain. I, I have my own experiences. I'm my own unique uh, self that refuses to be led and controlled by whatever the narrative the media wants to to push. What's the narrative they want to push? Whatever gets them clicks. Whatever gets them clicks. Whatever gives them money. And 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 I won't fall for it. Now, am, am I right? Yeah, most of the time. No, I'm just I, I just don't I don't know that I don't know, and neither do you. And if you think you do, you're you're a mindless um fool. You know. You don't know. There, th- in these situations, it's too much hearsay, too, too much unknown, no backstory on any of it, no understanding of the language barriers. There, there's no understanding of anything. The, the, the contextual, uh, the context of what's going on with how people are thinking is it, getting ridiculous. We don't know. It needs to be, it, 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 if you're going to walk out the field, it needs to be, it has to be legit. Legit. Not just he, he he said he said he was a, a a black a black man. You are a black man. Okay, you don't uh, white people don't say that. That is not true, and that's a, a a weak way of of fighting an argument. I'll give you an example. My son, who is white and a redhead to boot, and when I say white, he is like Casper white, so white he s- sticks out uh, like a, a sore thumb. I mean. Uh, you know, when that, when that, when the uh, uh, the celebration of kicking a redhead day appears every August, he needs to watch his behind. He's that much of a redhead. Anyways, and in these days, it's scary to have a a, a son or daughter who is white because you're getting attacked for being white, not not for what you do or what how you think or anything like that. Um, you deserve it, you know, kind of it, because of uh, your ancestors or whatever. Okay. My son plays for Tuzos. He's the only white kid on that team. 
just a couple weeks ago before they had the shutdown of our fields through COVID based on zero science of spread outdoors doing soccer. Zero. Zero science. Zero data. They're just like, shut it down. Anyways, I was talking to a uh, parent that was uh, busy, and he's like, uh, where's your son? And, and I point across the field, and I said, he's over there. See the, see the white kid? White kid with red hair? That's him. Sticks out like a sore thumb. I describe my son. Yeah, do we describe people? Do you say the, 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 the white man or anything? Yes. When describing someone, it's not all racism. So it, th- there's different ways, different perspectives of doing it. It's just, you, you can't just crucify the four. And, and I can't stand referees. As a coach and a past player, I, I've done horrible things to referees. Horrible. I, I mean, I was very vindictive. Horrible human being, me. You know, improving as I age, as we're all trying to do. Um, I, I've... I've gotten with referees so many times, so many red cards. I, I've, I've, there was a referee that to this day I still say he did me wrong as a coach. Totally sided with the uh, opposing team um, coach. I mean, changed the rule. I mean, just totally screwed. I don't want to go into the details of that. But, anyways, long story short, I entered an indoor league that he played in so I could freaking foul him repeatedly till I got ejected. That, that's the stupidity. And anger I've had built up. And now it's, I guess it's just into a podcast. But it, there's wrong and right and, you know, more understanding of just it, people are flawed. But if we're going to crucify someone in the degree, we will. Because what we're doing this fourth official, he has no job. His family, screw, uh, he's screw, he, he can't work. He's done. Whether he, he's a racist or not, he's done because of the accusation. That's the world we live in. That's where, that's where we're headed. That's where we're at. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Can I have these thoughts? Can I have a, a dialogue that gets you to think differently? Or we're just going to listen to those who want to um, prescribe to us whatever gets them clicks. The media is evil. News is dead. It's bad. The only information we're able to get is from one another. From people like me that doesn't work for ESPN FC, who has a listen to Shaka uh, scare them to death with his arm folded, you know. They're racist, and we need more white people to stand up. Are you kidding me? Shut up. If we keep talking about it like this, racism will never go away. We need to handle it differently. We need to approach people one-on-one and change lives one-on-one. That's how lives are changed in one-on-one conversation, one-on-one loving each other versus I'm going to out them. I'm going to put them online. I'm going to make them famous and take everything away from them. Well, it's just one life. I thought every life mattered. You know, when we talk about COVID, one one death too many. Uh, You know, everyone that I come in contact with, I want to engage differently i want to embrace people regardless of color i i everyone is on this earth suffering in some degree everyone no one can escape suffrage i don't care what color you are or anything you can't escape it i believe we're on earth here to suffer and overcome this world so we can uh evolve into the next life that's what I, I, I believe we're, we're here to be tested to overcome. And we're, it's not much of a progression of a human being if we would rather walk off the field based on hearsay and confusion, no facts, not, not enough uh, factual information uh, to do something like that. I just uh, I think Landon Donovan's a coward. I I don't I don't think much of him. I think anyone that does that is is bad for for this world. It's it's defi- uh, divisive. It's it's not. It, there's a better way of doing it. It's not this way. But those are my thoughts. Will my thoughts change? Maybe. 
if I get more information other than from the what you see on Twitter and stuff, I try to unplug myself. I want to just be free thinking. I don't want to be controlled by anything about how to think. And we all should prescribe to that. We need to be free thinkers. Unplug yourself and really, really dig deep and, and, and think about every situation. That's how I'm trying to evolve. I don't want to react in such a way based on prior experiences or knowledge or whatever I've been fed in my brain. We all are manipulated. So un- unmanipulate yourself just a little bit so we can fight this fight of being controlled by the the mass media that we're receiving through social media to the mainstream media, all that. We are being fed a lot of BS, both sides. We're just we're being fed a lot of garbage, and we need to unplug ourselves and have an open dialogue. And you need dissenters like myself that don't want to crucify this fourth official until all facts are found. And we got to be careful what we're doing because we're just we're setting one president after another. I mean, it just is there an end? Uh, I'm not sure.